So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. Um, guys, give this video a smash. Smash the like button as always, as I always ask you guys. Uh, let's try get as many likes as we can get on this video. Um, smash that like button. But yeah, going into it, I wanted to talk a little bit about Alexander Usyk. Alexander Usyk has said that when I fought Anthony Joshua, nobody gave me a chance. And now people are talking about Tyson Fury as a king. And, you know, he's only a king in his own mind. Um, and I can beat him. Uh, Alexander Usyk said, I, I beat Anthony Joshua and I can beat um, Tyson Fury. And I agree with him. Uh, I think that I think Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight in the world right now. And I think he deserves that tag for what he's done. Uh, I think Tyson Fury is an exceptional talent. I think Tyson Fury is a great fighter. But I do think that we're getting carried away. There's another champion out there with three belts. And, you know, don't let Fury, and even though I'm a Fury fan, don't let Fury brainwash you and say, well, you know, I'm the best in the world and I don't need to fight Usyk. And no, he needs to fight Usyk because Usyk has three belts and, and Fury's never been undisputed. I don't care if Fury had, you know, beat Klitschko. He's never been undisputed. And now there's another fighter out there that... I think potentially could beat him. I'm I'm not saying that I would pick Usyk, but I believe Fury. I believe Usyk has the skills and the ability and the boxing ability to cause Fury a lot of trouble. And I don't think Fury just gets a pass just because he beat Deontay Wilder a couple of times. Where he does Styles make fights in boxing. We've seen it many times before. We've seen guys beat that guy, but then not be able to beat that guy. Tyson Fury hasn't fought all the heavyweights. His resume is fairly thin and he hasn't fought all the top 10 heavyweights. He may not have to fight all the top 10, but he's only fought Wilder. You know, and Klitschko's retired now, but who's he fought really? Klitschko and Wilder? You know, and, and right now he's only beaten one top 10 heavyweight. He's only beaten one top 10 heavyweight, and that's Wilder. And even Wilder, everyone's saying Wilder would beat every other heavyweight. Possibly, possibly. You know, he may, he may well do, but the fact is he hasn't done it. So we don't even know how good Wilder is, because Wilder hasn't fought the other top 10 guys either. And if you want to put Ortiz in the top 10, you could say he probably has beaten one top 10 guy. You know, and, and but Ortiz may not be in, in your guys' top 10 now. So my point that I'm making is that for Tyson Fury to be crowned the best heavyweight in the world and go down the best of his generation, go down amongst the other great heavyweights like the Arlies, the Holmes, the Fred, he's got to get a better resume, Foreman. He's got to get a much better resume. You can't beat two guys. And then people say you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. You know, especially when there's other challenges. There's Anthony Joshua out there. There's Usyk out there. There's all these guys out there. Styles make fights. Lennox Lewis beat every single top fighter in his era. And the reason why you've got to do that to be crowned the greatest is because styles make fights. Different fighters have different styles that may cause you problems. So... We've not we've seen that Tyson Fury has a beat he's got the beating of Deontay Wilder. But Anthony Joshua may bring something else to the table. Anthony Joshua's a better boxer. He's also got power. Who knows? He may be able to get the job done. I don't think so. I think Fury beats him. But at the end of the day, styles make fights. Usyk is a really good boxer. Fury's never had to face somebody that good a boxer, I don't believe. He fought Vladimir Klitschko, who didn't really throw any punches, and Vladimir was old. Wilder's not a great boxer. So Usyk brings something else to the table. Anthony Joshua brings something else to the table. Dylan White brings something else to the table because they're top heavyweights. They, they may not be... I'm not saying they beat Fury because I wouldn't pick them. You know, the, the guy that I would give the best chance to beat Fury is Alexander Usyk. Because I think the guy's unbelievably skilled. But the fact, the, the, the point I'm trying to make is that Fury can't just be crowned the greatest of this era when he hasn't fought everybody of this era. 
The way you get crowned the greatest of this era is by fighting everybody of this era. Now the eye test, we're going on the eye test because Fury's six foot nine. He's so skilled. He can adapt in fights. Yeah, we get all of that. But until you beat everybody in your era, you can't be crowned the best in your era. Muhammad Ali beat everybody in his era. Larry Holmes was an unbelievable heavyweight. Beat majority of the people in his era. Lennox Lewis beat majority of the heavyweights of his era. You can't be crowned the greatest if you don't beat everybody in your era. And I mean everyone significant and Joshua significant. Usyk, if he beats Joshua and Usyk and then beat what and then he's beaten Wilder, that's it. That's enough for me. He he can then retire. No problem. But there's fights out there. It looks like his next fight is probably going to be Dillian White. Which is a... Which is a decent fight. That would add to his legacy. Because Dillian White's a, good, a top 10 heavyweight. He beats Dillian White. Then goes on to beat Usyk. Then beats... Jo that's a all... He's an all-time great. He deserves to be put amongst your Ali's and stuff like that because he would have proven it. Even then, people will still say that he doesn't because he'll, they'll say that the fighters of yesteryear will want them much better. But you can only beat what's there in your era. So you have to give Fury credit. But the fact of the point is right now, his resume is weak compared to Ali, compared to all the other great heavyweights. His, look at the great fighters Lennox Lewis beat. Lennox Lewis beat Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, you know, just Vitaly Klitschko. You know, these are three great, great fighters. He beat Hasim Rahman, Oliver McCall. You know, and there's so many other fighters that Lennox Lewis, I, I can't even remember. He's beaten so many top fighters. You know, Frank Bruno. He's beat so many men. And this is the this is the this is the this is the thing that I feel like I feel like Tyson Fury needs if Tyson Fury wants to be remembered like a Lewis, he needs to beat all those guys in his era. You know, all the other greats did it. They didn't just fight one guy. You know, Evander Holyfield had a fight with, uh, I mean, sorry, Lennox had a fight with Evander Holyfield two times. You know, and even though Lennox won that first fight against Evander, but then he fought him again and beat him properly. The point I'm trying to make here is that I feel like Tyson Fury is being crowned the greatest by the eye test. We're looking at him and saying he's the greatest. But looking at somebody doesn't make somebody the greatest. They've got to prove it in the ring. Yeah, Going off the eye test, I believe Fury is the best heavyweight in the world. If you were to ask me who's the best heavyweight, I'd say Fury. But the fact is, I feel like you he's got to go in there and prove it against some of the top 10 guys. Like Dillian White, Usyk and Joshua. He fights those three that he's done. I feel like he's proven he's the best of this era. But you can't be the best of your era if you haven't fought everybody from your era. Or everyone significant. He's fought Wilder. Wilder was significant. He's beaten him. Right now, there's Usyk out there. There's Joshua. Out. And even if Joshua loses to U um, Usyk, it's still a Joshua's still a good fighter, and he's still a fight that the public would want to see. You know, Dillian White's is mandatory. What's Tyson Fury gonna do here? Is Tyson Fury gonna go ahead with that fight, or is he gonna be made franchise champion or whatever? You see, I feel like you need to fight all comers. You need to fight all... Of, like, that would put Tyson Fury on another level. By beating Dillian White, Usyk, and Joshua, he would put himself... Look at that resume. Klitschko, Joshua, you know, Dillian White, uh, Alexander Usyk, Vladimir Klitschko. Like, that's an unbelievable resume. You know, you only need to have five big fights, five great fights, and, and that's it. You're, you're, you're considered, you know, one of the... One of the best. You know, if you have five great wins like that, you, you deserve to be considered one of the best. You know, because remember, Dillian White, Alexander Usyk, and Anthony Joshua, they're all in their prime. 
And I know Joshua's lost a couple of fights now and his stock's gone down. People don't rate him as high as what they did when he was undefeated. But the fact, the fact of the matter is, is that Joshua, he's still, a, he's, he's still a good fighter. He still possesses skills that could cause Fury trouble. And a lot of people think stylistically Joshua may give Fury trouble. Let's see it. This is what I'm saying. It's like styles make fights in boxing. You've got to understand that. Just because that guy beat that guy doesn't mean he's going to beat that other guy because styles make fights in boxing. Hence why I want to see Fury fight Alexander Usyk. The reason why I want to see Fury fight Alexander Usyk because I think stylistically, Fury. I think Alexander Usyk is a dangerous fight for Tyson Fury. That's not an easy fight. Alexander Usyk has unbelievable skills. He's a southpaw. When has Tyson Fury fought a skilled southpaw like that? And remember, Alexander Usyk is used to fighting big men. And he's got a great engine. He's got a great stamina. And he's got a great chin. So I don't see how people think that's an easy fight. I don't. That's not an easy fight as far as I'm concerned. I think that's a tough fight. But if Fury wants to prove he's the best of this era, he's got to fight all those guys. I, I feel, that's just from my point of view, I feel like he's got to fight all of these guys to prove, you know, you. I just, that's just my opinion. I feel like there's too many, I think fans nowadays are, are putting these guys on pedestals and they're already claiming they're the best, making them feel like they don't have to fight because they're like, oh, we, I'm the best. Fury thinks he's the best because everyone's saying he is. By beating one guy. You know? And two, like Klitschko, yeah, he was undefeated. But it, when Klitschko fought Fury, that wasn't really Fury's era. Klitschko was was past his best. Really, if you look at the guys that he's beaten in his, from his era, it's only Wilder, really. So, yeah, that's just my point of view. I want to see Fury fight um, all the other top heavyweights. But let's see if, if it happens. Uh, leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. I'd love to know your opinion. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.